In this video, I want to quickly talk about a helper function that Redux provides, and that is the bind action creators function. At the moment, you can see we invoke dispatch on the store and pass in the action. You could do this, but there is an alternative way as well. At the top, let's import the helper function. Const bind action creators is equal to redux dot bind action creators. Now we can comment out the store dot dispatches and instead add const actions is equal to bind action creators. The first argument is an object where we specify the different action creators. So order cake, restock cake. And the second argument is what we want to bind it to. And that would be store.dispatch. Now to dispatch the action, we can call actions.ordercake three times, just like before. And then actions.restockcake, passing in three as an argument. If we now run node index, we still have the same output. So bind action creators function turns an object whose values are action creators into an object with the same keys, but with every action creator wrapped into a dispatch call so they may be invoked directly. To be honest, bind action creators is not really necessary. It used to be helpful back in the days when React code bases had separation of container and presentation components and the presentation components needed to dispatch actions but not be aware of Redux. So instead of importing store or passing in dispatch as a prop, you would bind action creators in the container component and pass in the action object as a prop. Nevertheless, it is a function that Redux exports. So I wanted to make sure you know about bind action creators. All right, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.